In this tutorial, we're going to go through how to um, get started with Adobe Spark and create our first post. So we're going to go to um, Adobe Spark and you know you can just Google it or you can type in the URL spark.adobe.com. I tend to just Google it and it'll take me right there. I'm going to click on this. And since I've already logged in or created an account, um, look, it just logged me in automatically. But remember um, to click log in, not create a new account, log in with your Google account. It's very easy that way. So I can go through and see my projects. I don't have any projects in here yet. They would be posted once I do. I can get some inspiration at the gallery up here or see their blog. But I want to get started creating right away. Um, again, I can look at all these examples. I'm going to say this over and over in this tutorial, I want you to just start clicking on things. There's nothing that you're going to break and there's so much you're going to learn just by clicking on things. So I'm going through this as a newbie. I have only created one thing on this and I'm learning. So I want you to listen as I learn with you. So to create, I'm going to click the plus sign. That's going to get us started. And I can think about what do I want to create? Um, do I want it to be a post, which is a um, poster, a page, which is a web page, or a video? So for this one, I'm going to go ahead and start with a post. And it's going to log me in, and I'm going to be thinking about um, what I want to say. Uh, and I want to pick my saying right now. Oh gosh, I didn't pre-plan what I wanted to say. Um, let's see. Um, be a creator, not an designer. Um, so that is something that we have in our uh, book and uh, something that we really believe in. So I'm going to click continue and I want to make a poster out of this and here I go with designing this poster now. Um, so there uh, is, uh, it's going to show me um, my text that I typed in in a lot of different styles. Now I can choose different themes and at first I was like just looking at them and, and not selecting but what I want you to do is try them all and think about what you want to look at and if you know if you need the image behind it before you can make a decision um, then go ahead and come back to this part theme later. So maybe I want to find the image for this. I'm going to replace this green background and I clicked replace and I can either upload a photo I have or I can find photos. Um, there's lots of different ways that I can get photos. I'm going to search their data bank for it. So um, I want to um, type in uh, and find an image that would be that would go good with this. And so I'm going to type in some abstract words like creative. I wonder if that will get me to the image I want. Oh, look at this. This might work. So now I'm going to just try out some of these images. Maybe I'll like it. Um, that could be kind of cool. Uh, maybe not with that uh, title, um, but I can scroll through here and find um, images that might go well um, with what I'm looking for. I wonder what that is. Uh, and just try, uh, that doesn't really fit. Ooh, I kind of like this one. All right, so I'm going to use this one. I think this works well. Um, I can uh, play around with this though, and um, uh, we can, I'll come back to that in a minute. I'm going to go back to theme, and right now I have the theme as um, uh, I'm set with that image, but I can now change how this is going to look. Now, some of these I'm thinking, ugh, I don't want that there. It's really simple to move this down into this section um, where I want it, um, but that still may not be the theme I want, so I'm going to click back in theme. And at first, again, like I was saying, I, I was not clicking on anything you should just try them all. You don't know what's going to look right until you try them. Um, maybe I like that one. I, I'm telling you, sometimes, oh, maybe that's right. Um, that's kind of nice. Uh, and do go through all of these. Um, for the sake of time, I'm going to go through this and do this one. Now, I can click on this, and I can um, edit the text. So if I want to change what I said, I can um, change it. Um, and I can also... Um, add more text. Um, oh, it gives me style suggestions. See, a lot of this, I don't even know. I don't know what this does. Oh, it's going through all the different styles. Whew, that is pretty cool. Oh, look at that. Maybe. I mean, that's kind of weird. Is it on the rug? Oh, I kind of like that one. No, I don't like that font. All right, let's see. Can I change the font? So I'm going to save that. I don't know if I like the background color. 
So maybe I can change the font. Um, yes, I can. Um, I want it to be something a little fancier, maybe. I don't know. Um, this is a lot of decisions. And <laughs> as you're seeing, I just, there we go. It's getting a little better. I just want to keep playing around with it um, and see what looks good. It's it's always best to try that, um, to try to um, see what's going to work best for you. Um, maybe that is better. Oh, I kind of like this one. It's getting a little better. I think it's this background color is just bothering me. <laughs> so I'm going to save that one. And oh, here, I think I can change the color. Yes. Let me try it. I don't even know how to change this. Let's try it. Oh, is that better? Are we getting better? Uh, maybe this one. No, let's try this one. Oh, it's back to the dark color. Oh, and then there's all colors. Okay, now we're talking. Maybe I want... Oh, it's changing my font. Oh, you guys, I'm learning as we're doing this. So let me try this again. Um, all right, I'm going to leave it there. You get my point. I'm going to click Save. And again, go through and play with all of this. Maybe I want it more um, invisible so I can see the background. If you want to move it, you can go ahead and move it where you want. If you want your font bigger or anything larger, you can change that um, like this. And when you're done, uh, when you're finished with this, uh, again, play up here with all of um, what you're looking at, um, with the palettes, the themes, the photos. Um, you know, right now there's no filter on here, but I could change that to make it look a little different. Let me see. Ooh, does that color look better? I kind of like that. All right, when I'm done, I want to click Share. It's saving my post. And I can um, pick a category, which I'm going to pick Education. Um, and I'm going to create a link. Now, from here, I can just download it, and which is great to upload um, into a Padlet or onto um, a slide deck or anything like that. So I'm going to push Download. It will now show up on my computer down here. When I want to insert it into a Google slide or any, anywhere like that, I'm just going to say upload and I'll look in my downloads and it will show up there. I can also create a link and it's very easy to do this way as well. And it gives me a link to my, um, that I can share uh, with my, um, anywhere I want to post a link. I can email it, um, post it on Twitter or Facebook. Um, and that is how you create a post.